Number five, intermittent fasting. Oh, I'm, well, I'm trying to do it. Are you? Right yeah. now? I didn't today because... Uh, oops. You're right. I don't know what happened. I dropped this and the chair like must have like turned it off. The chair must really hate intermittent fasting. No, I think it's good, man. I've been trying it out. I, I eat between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. But today, on days like this, I work right. So I was really scared that I wasn't going to wake up in time for, to come here. I was really scared. So I got Laura to wake me up before she left to go and po do poker run at like nine o'clock. Okay. So like, you got to remember, like I went to bed like six, half six last night. So I was like, I don't know if I'll make it. So she woke me up at nine. So I had like two and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, so like, then I've been up for, I've, I, I, usually if you're fast, you, you're, you're sleeping, right? So you don't, you're not as hungry. I was like, today, I was like, I'm going to be hungry during the podcast yeah. if I don't eat. So I ate, ate early today. But in an ideal world, I'd like to eat between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. So what exactly is intermittent fasting? It's just literally, it's fasting intermittently. So like, sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to make you sound stupid by doing that. <laughs> but no, it's like, you know, you just you just fast, so you don't okay, eat. So say, I, say I wake up, uh, I'll go my average day. I'll yeah. But like, I'll say 11. Mm. So I know. Everyone's gonna be like, you don't wake up at 11. I wake yeah. up at 11 and I go to bed at 2 a.m. Okay. When do I eat? Well, it's up to you, to put it like bluntly. People people choose different hours and it's all based on 24 hours. So like if you do like 20 and four, that's like you, you fast for 20 hours and you eat for four hours. That's a very like extreme one. Well, so I'd eat as much as I want for four hours. Yeah. And then I'd just stop. Yeah. It, to be fair, it does help. I know a friend who lost a lot of weight by doing it because it does give you that freedom. You know, if you don't want to, like, want to stick to a diet and you don't want to do this, that, that, or the other, um, you just eat in that small amount of time. Because the, the idea is that I think your body starts like working for you the longer you don't eat, which is which makes sense. So it starts yeah. like eating, it, not eating itself, but that's like a very unscientific way to think about it. Um, yeah, I think it starts like ramping up. And I think there's like graphs that I, I, there's a lot of science behind it that I looked at once and then didn't remember because I'm stupid. Uh, but it's good though. Okay. I mean, I enjoy it. I'm skinny, so I'm not. Yeah, now you're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's funny that just because you're just because you're like explaining what it is, the comment under Golden Hoops was, Randolph, we are idiots when it comes to stocks. Also, Randolph teaches me about stocks. <laughs> what does that make me when it comes to stocks? <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean. I'm saying that I don't know anything about it. I'm just trying yeah. to give you a brief overview, but yeah, that's funny. Good comment, mate. All right, number six, yeah. wearing sunglasses indoors. Um, well, first of all, uh, let's just turn that off. Oops, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> off, like it's Hello, bro, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to, and it's uncomfortable. It doesn't work. Like, you, you, like it, I've done it before. It's not nice. Yeah. Uh, I think I like it. Like, say. It's gonna sound like big headed now, but like say we are on tour, say, and you're going to like an airport, and like you, there are people who may recognize you. It's not that you're trying to like not be seen by them. It's that like you're like so tired that you look like a yeah, you know, yeah. You're, like, you're not you've not woken up properly. It's like a six a.m. flight type thing, and you just want to put the glasses on. And it's like it's weird. It makes you feel like you're invisible. If you know what I'm saying, not not like you need to be visible from fans, but just more like I don't know. You just feel hidden. Yeah. So you like if you're not like dressed properly, or if you, you just makes you feel comfortable. It's weird. Um. But I can, I, it can be obnoxious in certain things as well. Like if you're in like a, I know, I remember a famous one, JJ Warren for um, True Geordie. <laughs> I was like, you don't really need to wear them there, JJ. Yeah. But again, it does make you like, it's a good, I don't know. It's, it, it gives you like a safety net, if that makes sense. It depends Weird. on what your character is as well. Yeah. Like, I feel like JJ right now as well, as much as he acts like an idiot in some videos and stuff, he is publicly like, I don't want to say he tries to be. Because he is, he's quite a cool guy. Yeah, no, he is. Yeah. So like wearing cl glasses, it's like it can it can come across as cool. Yeah. Some some people can't pull it off, etc. Yeah. If I wear glasses out. Oh yeah, no. Nah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. But yeah, I'm the same. It's the same with like, I don't want to say mask. Well, yeah, mask. Like when, yeah, you wear, yeah. when you wear a mask, it, it gives you that sense of. It is a safety net. Yeah, and in not I'm not, not even just saying it. Safe, you know, not just. In, Corona. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Season. And not, not even in the sense of like even meeting flan, fans. Nothing to do with like being a YouTuber or influencer. Just, you just feel like, you just, I don't know, just feel free, don't you? Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? Have, like, I don't have to care as much about what anyone's going to. Exactly, yeah, think of you. Yeah. Yeah. Or like you might have like some food on your mouth, but you don't now because no one no knows. Yeah. And when you, got, when you got glasses on, it just feels like nice and secure. The um, funniest thing is when, so, so like, if we get asked for a picture while I have my mask on, I still smile. Like, yeah. Fully. Why am I smiling? Yeah, someone's like, oh, can we get a picture together? I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, oh, can you take your mask off? I was like, no. Like, the whole point, bro, the whole point is that we're being, you know, it's, it's there for a reason. I'll just take it off. Like, sorry, but not that, but I'm being safe, mate. Number seven. Okay. 
Biting fingernails. I assume it means your own. <laughs> now, nah, mate, I lost my fetish. <laughs> now, nah, yeah, so... That's why you went on fasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, intermittent fasting, pure nails. Um, I don't do it, but I do peak my nails. Really? Yeah. I bite my nails. No, nah, I don't do it. Could not do that. Gross. So why is your lights still on? Just forgot. <laughs> just forgot. Um, oh, it feels nice being in this room like this. Yeah, I like it. No, so uh, it's just weird. I don't like... The, oh, no, I don't like the crunch. I mean, I normally do it like so every now and then. Obviously, I will, but I normally do it like after a shower or something. Ah, okay, it's it soft. Is, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I just put my nails. Well, because you know, you get like nail scissors. Yeah, like I'll use that on toes, mm -hmm. and then I'll sometimes use it on my left hand. But then my left hand can't work on my right hand. So Mine can. To use scissors with my left hand just doesn't feel yeah. right. So then I'll yeah. Well, bro, I'm just saying it's completely irrelevant, but you know I'm left-handed writing, but I can't do stuff with my left hand. That's making me cringe right now. So, bro, story back at the Crico, okay. in the cage, okay. I was like, mm, how old was I? I was like, year f between year four and, wait, what, what age are you at secondary school? Age three, between three and six, right? Year three, year four, year, f no, sorry, primary. Well, year like three, 18, four, five, six. 17, 18, and year 13. What? what? What year are you trying to figure out? Year three. Year three, so that's like your eight. Yeah. So between year seven three, eight, seven. between year three and year six, okay, this happened. I was in a, it was next to a pub as well. I was in goal, right? He came down, this old geezer, like let me say old geezer. I don't mean like twelve year old, like fifty years, fifty sixty years <laughs> old, right? And he's like, obviously I've like, been drinking and that, and he's playing football in a kid with kids in the cage, right? With, obviously with his son. He's not, he's not being a weirdo. Like he's, he's no, he's there with like, his son. No, no, I'm trying to. No, I'm not. I'm not putting. Like, he's 50 years old playing with kids. No, 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 no. no. I, I, weird, I meant like it's just like don't play with kids because you're too strong for us. You know what I mean? Okay. Not like he's got. It was with his kid playing. It's, my dad was. My, my, my dad was there. So not an once, but not an once. No, shouldn't been playing. Shouldn't been playing. Yeah, and it's, it's and it's a flat football, which makes it even worse. And I'm in goal when he belts it at me. I'm a keeper, right? I'm like literally year four or whatever. Okay. Belts it at me, and I put my hand out to save it. And it's flat as well. And it just, and I try, like an idiot, I try and save it instead of just letting it go. And I'm, say, I don't, I don't, I'm not a keeper. No weight behind it. Just snaps my arm. Uh, and I'm left handed, right? So, like, now at school, I have to, like, write, write, write with my right hand and everything. So it's like, I am left handed. There's more to the stories. Uh, sorry, it's just so irrelevant. It's more to the story. <laughs> I have to go back. I have to give contact to the people because this needs to be known. It needs to be known. Listen, when I was younger, my mum. It's gonna sound wrong. My mom let my mom, my mom went to take a phone call in the in the other room. I was very young, very baby, but much much wild. <laughs> I was very baby, <laughs> very baby. Um, and she left me like not not on the table, but I was stood up on like I was on, I was on the floor, but I stood up to like I'm very small by the way to like lean onto this like something like this high, and I fall over onto the uh, floor on a on a tiled kitchen, break my right wrist. Okay, so I've only broken two bones in my body, both wrists. Weirdly enough. Bad. There we go. Have you ever said that story on Reddit? Oh, it's, okay. I need to go back again. <laughs> no, no, I don't need to go back. When I was a sperm. <laughs> <laughs> when I first grew arms, it felt weird. No, so um, I was right-handed as a baby, broke my right wrist, Came went left-handed, left and then in year four, broke my left wrist. Became right-handed. Yeah. No, I'm still left-handed, but I do everything right-handed. So I'm technically right-handed, but I had to learn how to do left-handed writing when I was younger. Do you know what I mean? So oh. I became left-handed, but I'm I'm a true right I'm a true righty. So you can write left-handed. Yes, but that's it. That's it. Yeah. So stuff like punching, say, my strong arms this side, you know, um, scissors this side. This is very weak, and you know, <laughs> all I can do is write. I can't do anything else with it. Um, I like how feeble you went. You went. This is so weak. <laughs> it's so, it is so weak. And when I'm at the gym, I, I, it's like this. The bone's not right. Because the reason why the bone's not right, and mum and dad, screw you both, right? I said I broke my wrist. They said, don't be stupid. So like three, four days, I went without having any, didn't go to the hospital at all. So I had a broken wrist for four days before someone believed it was broken. Mad. So no wonder it, and then, and then they put it in a cast. So no wonder, you've scarred me for life, parents. <laughs> and honestly, it's so nimble and weak. I hate my wrist, it's so stupid. Anyway, what was the question? Uh, it was biting fingernails. <laughs> How the fuck did we get there? How did I get there? I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. It's not interesting. Number eight. I just have to, I just have to finish the story. I have to give context. Leather couches. Yeah, I like them. I hate them. My mum and dad got a yellow uh, leather couch. Really? Yeah. I can't. I can't. Sick though. It's got like, it's, it's electric. So you go like this. And we all... Well, yeah. <laughs> but that's... 
you know, there's there are unleather couches that do that. <laughs> I know, but my mum and dad's are sick. Okay, well, that was a quick one. Number yeah. nine. Oh, that one, yeah. Feta cheese. <gasps> Why? What is that one? What do you mean feta? It's a type of cheese. Yeah, but what is it? Which one is it? Is it the one they put in salads? Some salads. Is it cubed and quite soft? Yeah. Nah, don't like it. I don't really like cheese that much. I like it when it's like, uh, that's why I hated that video that you did. Remember that video at the house? Where you did the like a, yeah. Moldy cheese. Yeah. yeah. See, I still like the cheese. I yeah. like the outside fluffiness. Yeah, you got to close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you like that, don't you? Oh, I love cheese. Wow. I love pretty much all cheese. Wow. Cheese. Number 10. Walls in your house painted in different colors. Golden hoops, mate. It's a weird one. I'm going really to be honest with you. Uh, I think he means like in the same room. I think it just means like in general. Like. Yeah, I mean, obviously we. You want like your house to be quite one color. Nah. Living room is one color. Bedroom is a different color. You know, kids room is a different color. Because wait till you talk to Laura about it. She'll be like, no, no, this room has to be this. This has to be this. And they'll all be like similar. Yeah, maybe like on a palette, but like. Still different colors. No one wants to live in like a monotone house. Nah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll text right now. Okay. And I'll get a response during the podcast. Say so how many, how many different colors would you want? You want? On the walls of a house. On the walls of a house. Yeah. Podcast question. Wait and see. I think Talia wants like. The same color. Yeah. Like, you know, say this room, you might have this wall is a different color. But that's it. Like you have a mm. feature wall. In there. But I thought Talia was creative. That's what I thought. But yeah, we're, still, we're, <laughs> on the same, we're on the same page here. As in, like, you're saying like every room should want like similar. Like, say, say it's pink. The majority of the house would probably be like, wow. white or beige or yeah. Like, like obviously, this flat is best because it's an apartment. You don't, don't don't want to paint it anyway. But I think yeah, my parents' house had different color walls. Like my room was one color downstairs. We had different color walls on each wall as well. Like one was green, one was like darker green. I remember when I was when I had when I first got my own room. Yeah, I, I was like, I want I want my room bright green. <laughs> I had two walls bright green, like green walls, screen bright, dark blue. Yeah, like br- green screen bright, and the others were like sea blue, like dark blue. Yeah, any reason? I was just like, oh, I get to choose. This is awesome. And my mum was so like, you don't want this. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, I do. And I want it to be even greener than I want it. <laughs> yeah. I want it to be the greenest of greens. So when I was younger, I, believe it or not, I was obsessed with Dragon Ball Z. Probably more yeah. so than Pokemon originally. No way. Yeah. And um, I wanted my room to be like the world of Dragon Ball Z. So like the floor, you know, it's like craters and stuff where they yeah. fight. The floor. Craters in your yeah. So the floor is like orangey, but like not just orange. It was like orange, brown, like all mixture of colors. Yeah, yep. and it was sick. And then the walls were the same, like a, like a spiral pattern with like that on it. Because uh, I want uh, what, what I asked for was I want like Dragon Ball Z, the floor to be like this, the walls to be like this, and I want Dragon Ball Z characters all the way around it. And then my ceiling was like sky, so it was like blue with, mixed with clouds and yeah. stuff. And it, honestly, it was sick. But when I said I wanted ga- characters in it, I wanted them drawn on the wall, like painted on the wall. And mm-hmm. as soon as it got finished, as soon as it got finished, right, I went up there, went up there on my own, got a biro. And just drew on all the walls and like drew Dragon Ball Z, like Goku, Vegeta all over the walls. And my mom was like, what the hell are you doing? Why have you done that? And I was like, I, want, I told you I want Dragon Ball Z characters on. And she's like, yeah, but we'll, we'll get like paintings to, and hang them up or we'll get someone to draw it. You, you, you can't draw it with the biro. <laughs> so you, even that, probably not anymore, they probably painted it over. But to this day, you just see like little Goku on the wall. Because <laughs> oh me and my mate, we used to think we were good at drawing Dragon Ball Z. That's what we did. We used to draw Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, anyway, nah, colors on the wall. I'll say, I'll say yes. Jesus. Brad, I need to stop talking. <laughs> no, I just can't believe you're drawing your walls. Oh, yeah. Me neither. Weird, All right, well, that is, a, that is the what's good questions. Thank you, Golden Hoops. Um, yeah, thank you, bro. As we, as we say all the time, comment down below 10 yeah. things, and the top comment will be next week's what's good. Segment. Yeah, vote them up. I guess, I mean, Golden Hoops can come back on at some point, but we'll give other people a yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But it, like, if you want to vote, upvote him, feel free if you've got more suggestions, but we'll just maybe choose the next one if he wins again. Yeah. But thank you, though. 